Welcome back to RP2000 development for Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 with Realism Overhaul. We continue with my Twitch livestream test run of the tech tree, and here I've got a Vanguard probe on a partial scout rocket, and we are trying to get temperature readings from South America. This does not work so well, but let's continue with the original audio. Okay, so where we need to get to is south. We need to get to one of these locations down here. Well, we're just going to test if the contracts are doable. Okay, going. Actually, turning is not a thing it does very well right now, huh? Fair enough. I'm gonna decouple first and then RCS some. Those fins apparently don't actuate. Well, those are the Araby fins. I need the scout fins, huh? If they... No, they don't have fins. Well, anyway. Well, there's the activate navigation symbol thing. I guess we'll go there. But maybe we have to correct for our existing orbital speed, though. Okay, let's see. Hello, Florida. Oh, we might as well get rid of the fairings. Ooh. And... go. Well, we definitely need more. But will it be enough? I don't know. Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't enough to get us over there. I suppose we'll do other science. That's probably not worth it. I don't know. But we probably have gotten the pressure data from in the atmosphere. Let me just keep that for a sec. Probe report. Well, we can keep that. Okay, we better orient before we can't communicate with it anymore. And we've lost communication. I should have armed the parachute. Oh no. Gosh darn it. Talking away. We could have maybe boosted our orbit with the Mon 3 and MMH. I wonder how much Delta V that actually is. Suborbital trajectories. I can't communicate with it. <laughs> okay, let's just skip that whole atmospheric survey thing. Let's try and get to the moon. So, we need something that can communicate with the moon, and Pioneer 5 was good enough for that sort of deal. It's Stockholm, yeah. What we were... our main trouble last time was that we didn't have RCS that was affordable, so... Uh, I changed that, and now we do have RCS that's affordable. So, we need fuel to make orbit around the moon, is what this is about. Mm. This is Mon 10. If we had... I just wanted to see how much Delta V this tank potentially has in it. That's a lot. We can transfer to the moon with that, but it'd take 33 minutes. <laughs> um, let's not do that. Length. I want just enough to do the last bit. Uh, so that's quite a lot. Yeah, now this little guy probably gets... Maybe I should just put it on. But then it doesn't... The fuel mixture it uses is not the fuel mixture that the RCS ports would use. Okay, so in theory that would have enough to capture around the moon. We might use these RCS thrusters for orientation even when on this next stage. And maybe I will use the... This little TD-339. It's got infinite ignitions. Not the best efficiency. It actually can throttle down. It might be... I mean, it was a landing engine. It was the severe landing engine. 
So, I'm making the transfer stage now, the thing that'll get us over to the moon. That will be enough to transfer, but it would take 51 minutes. <laughs> hmm, maybe we should use a different engine. Should I try and use one of my other ones that I've made? Even though they might not belong here? That's thousand- they're all 1,200 now, because I didn't individually configure them. Maybe that's worth it. This is a one kill Newton thruster. If I move these down here and just add it to this stage, how much... Oh. Maybe we should just trim this up and make it one stage. Mini Goo Radiometer. That appears to be something different from a Geiger counter. Irradiate Mystery Goo. But it's very expensive. Let's hold off on that. Probe camera. Mystery Goo's 800. I'll stick to the cheap things. Let's just put them in three-way symmetry. That seems pretty robust. Now we just need something that can get 0.4 tons to orbit. What do we call this? Pioneer M for Moon. Or L for Luna. Sure. And we can get rid of these stages. I hope it's being honest about the Delta V. How heavy was the uh, payload here? That's 0.8 tons, so this will totally be able to do it. How long do patents... How long would the patent for the Thor engine last for, anyway? Does anybody know? 18 years? Gosh. Why isn't everybody building F1 engines? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll give it a go. We've got the budget. Can it get off the ground? That seems like an important thing to check. Yes. Yes, it can. Isn't it amazing, these tiny little probes that they sent out to interplanetary space that have barely anything on them? The Pioneer probes were crazy. So, uh, I forget whether we've unlocked the tracking station and maneuver nodes in there. I think we unlocked some stuff. But we can't target the moon. So, we haven't unlocked that. But presumably, we unlocked the ability to see our orbit. Encounter the moon, maybe. Okay, how... Okay, so that... I'm trying to figure out when to launch again. So maybe like that. So on this side. I guess a little bit past the Terminator. That's my best bet since I can't target it and find out. The engine is an S3. But you can think of it as a really crappy Merlin. It's about the same thing. <laughs> it's like... Merlin by a startup that just started. Okay. Ignition. And launch. Deprecated plume. I don't care about- well, I definitely didn't configure this plume, but... I probably have used many deprecated plumes. Myself. Talk to Raider Nick about it. Darn it. Oh, shoot. Stabilize. Oh gosh, that helium is going. Okay, ignition. Well, we're not quite lined up with the moon. You can see there's a difference between us and the moon's... ...inclination. But we'll try. At least we don't have to rely on just a single ignition to get there. I don't know what flame this is, but here it is. I need, probably need to move it down, it looks like. One kill Newton thruster. I think it was supposed to be hypergolic orange. 
Oh, we're a little bit off time, but that might be good for inclination though. Well, yeah. So all the old engines would have to be. Oh, 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 oh. I think we probably won't be making it this time. Um. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Uh, I think we're going too fast. We need to pull that in. We have to delay long enough to let the moon catch up. I don't know if we're going to be doing that. It doesn't look like it. Maybe. Uh, not quite. We're also at a weird inclination. Oh, wait. Just barely. This is not a great way to capture, but shoot. While we're here, let's try to make orbit. Well, it's gotta be a bare thing if we actually make orbit. Because we're so far out. Okay, we've got orbit the moon. We should probably do some moon science. We're very, very, very high over the moon. Probe report. Transmit. And activate Geiger counter. We can just activate it? Okay, there we go. I want to make sure that we get the science. Alright, um, yeah, that's probably not low over the moon. We'll just use all our fuel, but I don't think we're going to get low over the moon, to be honest. Yeah, that's not low over the moon. So we've done the science that we can. Well, yeah, we got the science and we got the contracts done. We could get more things, but... Right now I have to figure out... Oh, Voyager. I think Voyager should be further on than Flight Control. We get this ugly advanced command pod. Where are the good command pods? This this simple command... That, that ugly one just needs to go away. I'll probably uh, forcibly delete that thing. Um, Mark 1 command pod is in simple command modules here. So we, have, we can't do crew missions until we do that. I guess we should work our way up. We got some Luna things. Just to get simple command modules, I'll unlock this first and work our way up there. I hope I didn't forget that we need other stuff. Yeah, some of the engines I made will end up in advanced rocketry and beyond because this stuff is too empty because we put all, basically all the parts over here in the manufacturers section. Okay, let's see what we need to do. More Explore the Moon. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit of the moon and return to Earth from orbit of the moon. I think we need to finally unlock the ability to track this stuff. We got the mission control upgrade. I need flight planning. Okay. Then, yeah, let's ex do the explore the moon thing. We still have to do these temperature surveys. I don't care so much about this one, but we'll wait until we bite the failure cost. Just in case we decide to do that. This, these temperature surveys... Maybe we should just do temperature surveys. And then there's these temperature surveys. Well, we might as well take both. We may need to do plane changes around the moon to get to these interesting temperature locations, which is a lot of Delta V. This rocket, though, is so cheap that the price they're giving us for each of the temperature surveys, we could just launch one to each location. Yeah, I didn't pick up that contract. We probably need some commsats. I'll, I'll take it and think about it. But I still want to do the moon right now. If we get low of the moon science, we can unlock the Mark 1 command module, Mark 1 pod, so. So, we're gonna launch one more of these. I guess we'll keep the same science, but now we can actually plot our path, so that'll help. Let's see how much it'll help. And how many of those temperature surveys we can do. 
Okay. Well, we're lined up. Ignition. And launch. We don't have roll control. I have a peculiar situation. Uh, just go. Sometimes I spin stabilized stuff when I need to. We've done that in the series before. But this time, we had RCS technically. I could have turned RCS on. Now we can plan to hit the moon. First time in this sequence that we can do that. But will our periapsis be in line of sight with Earth? It doesn't seem that way. Maybe we should go the other way around. That's more likely, but has less inclination to it. Oh yeah, this is bound to be efficient. <laughs> Go. Well, that's good if we can capture like that. And then we'll have to wait for a while. So we have to get things over here. At least it's sort of clustered, so... Okay, we are in orbit. We can get the low science, we haven't done that before. And then we just need to hit these places. Then we need to rendezvous two vessels in orbit of the moon and return to Earth from orbit of the moon. So we'll send another vessel to do that, rendezvous with this, and then try and come back. But this, its main job is to get the temperature things. And this science right now too. I think the Geiger counter got more science from high over the moon than low over the moon. We only have 475, so we better just wait for things. That Those sites are probably going to be first. Yeah. I think those are too high. We might not be able to go over them. We might need a plane change to get to them. Can we get a location? Oh, no, now we've got landing guidance. I guess we needed the tracking station unlock. No, it doesn't... Oh, it's only 30 degrees? What is our inclination right now? 21.4. So yeah, we can't hit that. Hmm... Should have pulled the orbit down more. Okay, that's probably good enough. At least this way we can time warp throughout the whole orbit. The thing is, we have to get pretty low on these. 13.4 kilometers. So let's go to it and bring that orbit down. I mean, it's dangerously low, really. There are some places on the moon that will kill you at 13.4 kilometers, so... We'll be too high like this over there. Are we gonna smack into stuff? I think we're gonna smack into things. Well, we're gonna have to lift up this side later, but for now... Again, as long as we get one temperature reading, we're... ...in good shape. This might crash into the moon. We may sacrifice it just to get that temperature reading. We need something with more fuel. Lunar impactor time. We just don't have enough delta V to do otherwise. Well, we've got no delta V left. Did we do what we needed to do? Oh, we might still be too high. Or too far away. Uh, oh, no. We're, we're too far away from that. Gosh, we have to be pretty accurate then, huh? Okay, well... Sorry, little probe. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to be... I mean, if you zoom out, it's like... Completely different. Do we get a world's first for a lunar impactor? No, we didn't get that. I think, is that... Bound dependent, maybe. 
this isn't. Probe report? That one is. Well, we didn't do that before, that's all. It's not biome dependent. Yeah, there are a lot of new stock parts, Texan. Especially if you have the DLC. So we, we did not get a new... We didn't get the world's first impacting the moon thing. Oh well. <laughs>